Hold on, this is kind of getting a little scary to me. So y'all telling me that China is really getting ready to take over the United States. All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Derek. It's your boy, Eric. It's the twins. We get again. Come to you guys live with a brand new episode of Gemini Moves Twins. And all right, on today's episode of Gemini Moves Twins, we will be doing a video about China. Without further ado, let's jump straight to the video. There's new concern tonight about China's military capabilities amid a report the country recently tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile. CNN's Brian Todd is working the story for us. So, Brian, what are you finding out? Well, n missile experts are worried tonight about China's new missile capability. There's a new report indicating China could soon be able to deploy a nuclear-tipped missile that U.S. defenses would find much harder to detect. U.S. officials tonight closely monitoring China's missile program following a report of a possibly ominous missile test. The Financial Times, citing unnamed sources briefed on the intelligence, reports China tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile in August. The report says the missile circled the Earth before speeding toward its target, demonstrating an advanced capability in space that, quote, caught U.S. intelligence by surprise. Today, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, while not commenting specifically on the Financial Times report, said this. We watch closely China's development of... Uh of uh, armament and, and advanced capabilities uh, and systems that will only increase uh, tensions in the region. China denies testing a hypersonic missile, saying the test was a, quote, routine spacecraft experiment and implying it was for civilian purposes. But analysts say if the report is correct, China's not only got a missile that can fly at five times the speed of sound and is more maneuverable than a standard ballistic missile. Because they're fast and they can avoid detection, they can decrease the amount of warning time we have and the amount of decision time that leaders have to respond in a crisis if hypersonic weapons are used. The idea that China might have fired a rocket into full orbit with this missile on it is disturbing to experts. If that's true, then we now have to... How is it disturbing to experts? Hold on now, it is scary, don't get it switched now. Cause it's like they just got God going around Earth because like it's faster than sound and it's like, but it like fast move better than a missile. Like how can something move five times speed of sound? Like it's like you can't hear it come, can't see it come. Like they got the Holy Ghost just clapping people. Like that. I'm talking about like how can you even make this? Like it's crazy. It's unfathomable. Can't even think about it. It's like my thing is like. How can America like really be scared of this or like really be like, ah, uh, it's disturbing. But my thing is like, if they was doing this, if they were like China, you got this ain't none of your business, like chill out. Start worrying about whether every Chinese satellite might not in fact be a disguised nuclear warhead. This is a very, very destabilizing development. This summer, it was reported that China began construction of what experts said were more than 100 new silos for intercontinental ballistic missiles in a western desert of China. What is very clear is that China is pushing to develop its nuclear capabilities, its strategic intercontinental capabilities, significantly beyond what has been the case for the last four decades, five decades. And China, according to U.S. officials, has been more aggressive recently in testing its weapons. As of the end of last month, September of 2021, uh, the PRC had launched... Uh, at Hold on, this is kind of getting a little scary to me because, as you guys know, the American dollar is decreasing. And, like, we are very much in debt to China. So it's like China really just trying to, like, you know, get everything together because it's like they seem like it's time, like, America, like, is getting shaky. So China, they might, they might try us. Like, hey, now, hey. I mean, at a time like this, American anger, like American needs somebody like Trump in the office to say, hey, America, we good. China, y'all better stop all that stuff or we shoot missiles today. We need somebody like that in office. You guys right, because I ain't gonna lie. Trump would be like, this Chinese disease, this this China, somewhere bring, you, you guys know the sickness into this, like this disease y'all got going around, like China, like this. This will be a good moment for Trump to be in office. So Joe Biden is like, what are you going to do? Because Trump, we know what Trump would do. Trump will probably put a stop to this. Or Trump would call out China a check on or something like that. And America's like, y'all worrying. Why y'all worrying? Like, y'all got to be more proactive so you guys don't worry. Like, figure this out. Like, why y'all getting scared? Like, how, how we supposed to feel? Biden, we need answers. Come on, Biden. We need to hear something back. It's time. You got five hours. 
at least 250 ballistic missiles this year. But China's not alone in developing hypersonic missiles. The U.S. and Russia are also working on them. And recently, Kim Jong-un's regime claimed North Korea test-fired a hypersonic missile with a warhead that could detach and glide. What I'm concerned about is uh, an unconstrained uh, ballistic missile and hypersonic missile race in uh, East Asia in future years. Uh, we know there are uh, military tensions between China and Japan, between the Koreas, between the United States and China. Experts are increasingly concerned about North Korea's hypersonic missile tests. Where did North Korea get the technology? Analysts say it's possible they could have gotten it from China or Russia, but they also say China and Russia have expressed concern over North Korea having that capability. So it's possible the North Koreans could have developed that hypersonic capability all on their own. We'll, we'll watch it together with uh, you. Thank you very, very much. So y'all are telling me that America is scared of China. So y'all are telling me that China is really getting ready to take over the United States. sounds like China is the big dog in this situation. Exactly. It sounds like America is really scared. Like, what we supposed to do to U.S. citizens? Like, I can't, this is the point where I miss Trump. Because Trump would, like, take control of the situation and he would, you know, the, he would, like, say, we the big dogs. Like, don't play with us. Exactly. But now, y'all got the government. I'm, I'm, I don't know if y'all being more honest with us. And so it's kind of good. So y'all, like, Saying y'all should be worried, and Trump would be kind of lying and saying like, "I got this, y'all got nothing to worry about." But I kind of would rather a leader tell me, "Y'all don't got nothing to worry about. I got this, and he got my back." Cause Trump come my swinger. We we all know this. So you guys, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, Mr. Boy Derek. Yeah.